Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addy. So for today's video, we have some good news from the Bureau of Immigration. The Bureau of Immigration just launched their online services. If before, you have to go to a particular Bureau of Immigration office to extend your visa for tourist visa entering into the Philippines, who wish to stay longer, now you can do that in the comforts of your home. Details coming right up. So what is this online services from the Bureau of Immigration? So the Bureau of Immigration has been expressive about it, that they want everything done online. So now they have slowly engaged this through the World Wide Web. If before you can only do certain services through the Bureau of Immigration portal, like for example, the annual report, you can go there, schedule your appointment to do your annual report, and you print the QR code. Now there are more services on the online platform or portal of the Bureau of Immigration. I am going to show you guys the website here shortly on what are the services the Bureau of Immigration now offers online. And the most effective one that they have really been trying to be implemented, like they said, they wanted more efficient and convenience to foreign tourists visiting to the Philippines that they don't have to go to a particular Bureau of Immigration office physically to extend their visa if they want to stay in the Philippines longer. So this is really good because you can now do this all online. So at the comforts of your home, through your mobile phones, your laptops, your tablets, you can log in to the Bureau of Immigration portal. You have to create an account that's very important and able to use this particular service. Then you got to log in and you should be able to see the services that they offer there that you guys can do online and don't have to go to the Bureau of Immigration office physically. So what are the things that you guys can do with this portal? So the very first service that Commissioner Tansinko has mentioned is about the immigration clearance for an accompanied minor. They have posted an announcement on this that applicants for waiver of exclusion grounds for arriving unaccompanied minors, immigration clearance certificate, and dual citizenship and their RA-9225 may now submit their application online. So if before, if you are a former Filipino wanting to be a dual citizen, because you don't apply for that at the DFA, you actually have to apply for that at the Bureau of Immigration. So now, if you want to be a dual citizen while in the Philippines, you can actually uh, do that all online. Submit all the paperwork online and stuff. The other thing, apart from these transactions, we are also excited to launch the online visa waiver and the tourist visa extension. So before the online visa waiver and the tourist extension for tourists coming into the Philippines, you have to physically go to the Bureau of Immigration Office to do that extension. Now, you can do that. At the comforts of your home temporary visitors visa extension or more commonly known as tourist visa extension is one of the more common transaction of the bureau of immigration for foreign tourists who wish to stay longer in the country visa extension is really one of the highlights of our e-services given its impact on the philippine tourism we all know that the Department of Tourism has recently launched the country's new slogan. That's why we are finding ways to make it easy for everyone to love our country more, said Tensinko. Our e-services allows our visitors to comply with their immigration requirements from the comfort of their own homes, hotels, or even by the beach. This would definitely aid in the boosting tourism, which is one of the main thrusts of the president he added applicants may visit the bureau of immigration e-services website so this is how the e-services.immigration.gov.ph looks like this is where you're going to do your 
scheduling if you need to do your annual report this is where you're going to do your visa extension if you need your visa extended this is also the portal you can submit your documentation if you want to be a dual citizen so like i said earlier you have to create an account creating an account is very simple they're gonna ask personal information your email your password that way you can log into your account and when that's submitted they would email you a confirmation that it's all said and done so these are the personal info very basic your name and stuff just like a usual form that you will fill out after you guys have created an account you can now log in to the immigration portal they have frequently asked questions page that would pop up you can read that up if you have questions first before using the platform if you're having a hard time getting through the platform you can do all this but if you want to proceed just click on that log in with your email that you use when you created your bureau of immigration account so it would say you have successfully logged in when you are inside the dashboard of the bureau of immigration portal here are the services that they offer like i said the annual report for 2023 which you guys should have done already in january until march there will be extensions to those foreign nationals who hasn't been in the country that as soon as you land you will be given 60 days to do your annual report immigration clearance certificate b or eccb this is the certificate that a foreign national will comply if you guys have stayed in the philippines six months or more please take note only six months or more if you have stayed in the philippines less than six months you don't need to get this you don't need to comply this kind of certificate then the petition for the reaccusation or retention of philippine citizenship so these are for former filipinos who went abroad have naturalized abroad and who plan to apply for dual citizenship you can actually apply for your dual citizenship abroad under your jurisdiction at the philippine consulate abroad but if you are in the philippines already you can also do that through the bureau of immigration and with this new online services by the Bureau of Immigration, you can now do that at the comforts of your home or while you're vacationing in a hotel or while you are vacationing in the beach. So dual citizenship, you can do tourist visa extension. The most popular service that the Bureau of Immigration probably deal with in a daily basis. So to those foreign nationals who wants to extend their visas, because they want to stay in the Philippines longer, now you can do that all online. Then the visa waiver, the waiver of exclusion ground. This is for minor kids who travel to the Philippines. Minor kids, unaccompanied minor kids traveling to the Philippines. So if you click in each and every one of these services, you will see like this one, you guys will see that it's filled up with my husband's information that's for his annual report we will skip that because that's done already the immigration clearance certificate they will have some important reminders read it up don't worry i will make a separate video to go through each one of them this one i just want to give you guys a preview on how or what the e-services of the immigration website looks like so it will give you a guide on how it's done as you guys can see, this is the online process flow for ECC or the Immigration Clearance Certificate. That's how it's done. And if you click on the dual citizenship, they will also do the same thing, reminder. And they will also show you the online process flow if you are applying for the dual citizenship. Then the other one, the most popular one, the tourist visa. Same thing. Before you can proceed with any of the information that you need to input to process this type of service at the Bureau of Immigration, they are going to show you guys the process, the flow of the process when you extend your tourist visa. For example, you click proceed. These are the details that they will need from you. I apologize now if I cannot really go through 
each one of them because this is an official website of the Philippine government. I don't want to get in trouble, you know, but to those who will try it soon, please share your experience, especially to our tourist visitors who are subscribed to this channel. If you guys will try this platform, I would appreciate it how it works, you know. So just go through it. Like I said, it will show you the flow of the process. They do e-payments for sure. When they said e-payments, they accept credit cards, debit cards, or any forms of online payment. And if you do the other one, the visa waiver, this is how they do it also, the EO408 visa, initial extension only and stuff. So you guys do that if you belong to this category. And the very last one, the waiver of exclusion ground. This is for those unaccompanied minors traveling to the Philippines. Again, they will show you the online process flow on how this service works for you guys. So this is the whole thing. This is how it works. This is how the Bureau of Immigration were envisioning before that they want a complete, more efficient, more convenient experience and process to foreign tourists coming into the Philippines, not just for foreign tourists, in all categories of travelers that you have to deal with with Bureau of Immigration. Unfortunately, to those foreign nationals who plan to be a resident in the Philippines, 13A, unfortunately, they don't have that online yet. You will have to go to the Bureau of Immigration office physically to apply for that particular visa. SRRV. SRRV is managed by the Philippine Retirement Authority or PRA. They are not under the Bureau of Immigration Services. So if you guys are interested in applying for SRRV, you have to go through with the Philippine Retirement Authority. So those are the services that the Bureau of Immigration Portal is offering now. This is really good, especially to those who extends their tourist visa very often that like I still want to stay longer in the Philippines and now I have to extend my visa they can now do that online so it's really nice that they are working on making everybody's experience particularly foreign tourists the convenience and the efficiency of their services at the comforts of your home or wherever you guys are, or as long as you have internet, you guys can now do your visa extensions online. And like I said, to those who are going to try this new portal of the Bureau of Immigration, don't worry, I will leave the link in the description box so you guys can check it out. Especially to those foreigners whose visa is coming up to uh, an expiration date. So you guys can do that now online. And if any one of you here in our community can try this portal please share your experience if the portal is user friendly did you guys have a hard time doing it or was it really easy or was it really convenient so you can compare the service which is more easier if you just go to the bureau of immigration office or doing it online and i really appreciate it guys for that experience that you guys will be sharing so this is the latest from the immigration department here in the philippines thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions concerns or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel related videos please comment down below and i will try to get back to you guys as soon as i can or you can direct message me in our facebook page same handle the ethan squad again guys thank you thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.